Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be working on this interesting integral named sophomore stream, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from 0 to 1. Then we have x to the power of negative x and dx. For this integral, we call this another sophomore stream. And then what I'm going to do is I'll be rewriting this integral using e as the base, right? So this integral is the same as now integral from 0 to 1. And then your integrand is the same as e to the power of negative x times ln x, and then we have now dx. Okay, then we can use this summation sign to rewrite this again, and we have n is from 0 to now infinity. Okay, then we have integral from 0 to 1. Then we have negative x times ln x, now to the power of n over n factorial, and then we have dx. Okay, then we can actually pull this negative 1 to the power of n, which is alternating sign, outside. So it is the same as now, summation still from n is equal to now 0 to infinity. Okay, then let me pull this negative 1 to the power of n out. Okay, and then that over now, this n factorial. And then we can multiply integral from 0 to 1, and your integrand is only going to be now x now to the power of n. That times ln x to the power of n, of course, we have now dx. Okay. So now we can focus on this integral part. So this integral now from 0 to 1. And then we have x to the power of n times now ln x to the power of n dx. This can be calculated in many ways, right? So we can use this u substitution. I'll be calling uh, the u as negative ln x. Okay. This says your x is now equal to then um, e to the power of negative u. Then at the same time, then it says ln x is equal to negative u. So that's why your dx would be represented as now negative e to the power of negative u. And then we have du. So we will be using this to rewrite this integral, right? And if you go ahead and do this, then we should set up this integral from infinity now to zero first. And then we should have e to the power of negative n now u. And the other term is now parenthesis negative u to the power of now n. Okay, that times negative e to the power of negative u. And then we have, of course, du. Okay, so for this integral, we can rewrite this by pulling this alternating sign out first. Negative 1 to the power of n. Now times integral from 0 to infinity. And then we have u to the power of n. And then after this, we have just the e to the power of negative parenthesis n plus 1. And then we have times u. Then we have du. Okay, so let's make another substitution, right? So for another substitution, I'll be calling um, the v. Okay, so from this, calling this v as now n plus 1 times u. In that case, your u has to be just equal to v over n plus 1. So using this, we can rewrite your integral as now. Okay, so this negative 1 to the power of n still. And then that times integral from 0 to infinity. Okay, then your integrand is going to be now then v to the power of n over n plus 1. And then that times now e to the power of negative v. And then that times now dv over n plus 1. Okay, then if you rewrite this again, it is the same as now negative 1 to the power of n over n plus 1 to the power of now n plus 1. That times now integral from 0 to infinity. And then we have now v to the power of n. That times e to the power of negative v. And we have dv. 
So that's why the last expression is the same as now. Okay, negative 1 to the power of n. And that over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. That times just n factorial. Okay, based on this result, which is negative 1 to the power of n over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1 times n factorial. Let's now talk about this integral from 0 to 1, x to the power of negative x dx that the question is asking for. So that is why using this, this integral from 0 to 1, x to the power of negative x, and then dx. Okay, this is now the same expression as summation from n is equal to now 0, and then to infinity. And then we have negative 1 to the power of n. That over n factorial. That times integral from 0 to 1. And then we had x to the power of now n times ln x to the power of n. And then we have now dx. Okay. So this expression has to be the same as now then. Summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity. Okay. Then we have negative 1 to the power of n over n factorial. Okay, that times that integral part is now negative 1 to the power of n over n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Okay, and then that times now n factorial. So that's why if you rewrite this, then it has to be the same as now. Summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity. Okay, then your expression is now only going to be after canceling out. It should be just equal to 1 over n plus 1 to the power of n now plus 1 because everything is canceled out. And then this is now canceled out to just a positive 1. So that's why the final answer using this is going to be summation um, from n is equal to 1 to infinity. And then we have 1 over n to the power of now n. Okay, this is your final answer for this integral. Okay, pretty interesting integral that is so-called the sophomore stream. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.